Did the Browns have a great offseason, or do we just look good again on paper? Join us and let's have a conversation. Catch us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Radio Line, and Spreaker. Also, on X Generous 365 app, Patreon, and UITA Radio. We want more. Let's get it. What up, Facebook and all the social media networks is TMD Esports. We talk about everything that's going on in the sports world and our beloved Cleveland Browns. Now, let's introduce the cast. Christy has made it. Christy Acuity's in the building. Christy, let them know it was good, baby. Hey, everyone. I'm actually kind of sad. I don't really want to talk about it yet. All right. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> all the way from Britain, Pete, the British Bulldogs in the Pete. Let them know what's good, baby. Yes, of course. I'm not sad at all. Listen, what a free agency week we've had. Hey, now come on, let's go through it. No doubt. Last but never least, my brother, Aaron Sims, the assassin, is in the building. Aaron, let him know what's good, baby. Hey, man, what's good is the defensive defensive line room. What's good is the wide receiver room. What's good is the browse free agency. Let's get it popping. Ah, yes. No doubt. Wow, man, it's been a, I, you know, it's I almost got a little premature. It's been a great week. I think the I think uh, Pro Football Focus gave the Browns a uh, a B minus for some of these draft signs. So I want to now that we here, it's I, I think it's pretty much over. I want to ask you guys. So let's talk about. Let's just go back. What do you feel about Dalvin Tomlinson, the defensive tackle? What are you guys feeling about him? Who wants to go first? <sighs> Anybody's a sign. Super happy. Pete, go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. So the, the person with the biggest smile outside of me and you guys would be Miles Garrett. I'm telling you. Yes. That, this, yes. Okay. This guy works on the interior, doesn't he? He does his best work on the interior. And the quarterbacks, watch out. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Christy, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I love my defensive players, and I'm super excited about picking him up because he's gonna be so disruptive. He's definitely gonna help Miles out, and our defensive line is just—it's looking amazing right now. And I mean, you guys know I'm a huge defensive fan. Not sure why, but yeah, I'm super excited about this pickup. All right, no doubt. Yeah, my brother Aaron. I'm big excited, man. He's, he, back in the day, you know, I coined that phrase, 50 McNasty in a cereal bowl. That means he's nasty in tight quarters. He's going to cause all kinds yeah. of disruption and, and problems. It's going to allow Miles mm -hmm. Garrett to do his thing. It's going to allow our new defensive end to do his thing. I like everything he did. I even like the Maurice Hurst pickup. I just think that the whole defensive line is going to be a lot meaner, a lot more experienced now. No doubt. Yeah, it's going to be. I, I hope it's going to be mean. This is. Building. My thing, and I'm gonna say this real quick before we move on to the next player. We we do this every year. We get excited. We <laughs> love these picks. We feel like Barry is the man, and then what happens? They 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 take a shit my coffee. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> just being 100. I'm just being 100. Positive though. This feels different. This feels different. This feels different. different. Okay. All right. Well, you, all right. I, I hope every, you feel different. Go ahead. Every bro. year, if, every year it feels like. You know it's different because you know every year things are put in but you know like they said life happens but truth mm -hmm. of the matter is we knew last year was a throwaway year because the quarterback mm -hmm. that we got and to be wasn't going to play the most of the year yep. you said yourself if they didn't win enough games they should tank the year you know what i mean yeah. i think really they got they got some um people out of the locker room that needed to be out of locker room and they brought some new faces and these mm -hmm. new faces aren't any pushovers you know they're mm -hmm. veterans you know, they're ready to go. Even, you know, when I look at the, the pickup with the safety of Thornhill, one thing about him is he knows yeah. he knows his assignments. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I know we're going to get to that. But I'm just saying in a big show, what, what is different is that, you know, yesterday was history. You know, tomorrow is in the future, but it called it the present because it's a gift. Let's just enjoy this gift and realize what our roster looks like. If this was a Madden team, you whoop somebody's ass. So let's just play Madden right now. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. Of course, oh, okay, so let's go on. Let's go to Thornhill. 
I, I was this is this one is kind of shaky because I didn't like how he played in the Super Bowl at all. <laughs> they they was a double coverage and, and AJ Brown just smoked both their asses. So I I, I don't want to see a return of John Johnson the third. I don't. So Thornhill was kind of like uh, I, I kind of shaky on that one, but it is what it is, and I'm willing to give him a chance. I mean, what else can I do? You know. Yeah, I All mean, right. it's different. He was in the right place. He just made a mistake. The mm-hmm. thing about Johnson, he had people in the wrong place. So I just want people in the <laughs> right place. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. I'd rather a mistake than, than uh, I'd rather a physical mistake than a mental mistake because you learn from physical mistakes. The next one, he'll be a good center fielder for us. Watch. Okay. Pete, how you feel about Mr. Thornhill? Um, I'm, I'm very happy about this. Very happy about this. This guy is going to bring more than well he's got two two rings let's be honest with you so that's um that. experience he's got experience he's he's a leader from what i can make out on social media and more importantly than that he's a tackler <laughs> his stats back it up so i was fed up of saying you know <laughs> when's the last time you saw I mean, we've been over this ground before when was the last time you saw one of our backfield Bam! Someone. Well, this guy is capable, and this guy does it. So, all right, all upgrade, right. upgrade. Christy? I'm hoping that the Super Bowl was just a fluke for him, and that he was having a bad game. I know it's yeah. like the, 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 the worst the time. game of the year. I know it's the worst time, but you know, hey, maybe he didn't have enough support from his team, and you know, he just was in the wrong environment. So now he's going to be with us and with Schwartz. Put those lips away. You look like those chicks with duck lips. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it is. It hey, is what it is. Schwartz is going to mold him. I have yeah. a really good feeling about this. No doubt. So, hey, Marcus, let me go with Mark. Yeah, yeah. Is go ahead, bro. I, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, my bad. <laughs> I know, Chris, you know, Christie's. You know, we got to give it up. Christie's optimism is is one hundred. You know, I, I get yes. it, and I try to be neutral. Y'all know I try to be neutral, man, because I'm tired of I'm tired of pissing in my coffee, man. No, I want to. I would like what? To drink when it happens, it's gonna feel so good. Oh, when you, don't you look at me like that, Marcus? I saw your eyes plugging <laughs> out of your head. <laughs> Trust me, no, I already called it with eye. the dogs. I called it with the dogs <laughs> podcast. I said we are gonna go 14 and 3. I put it out there into the universe. Yep, 14 I, and 3. Man, I, ooh, yeah. I hope you don't end up biting your tongue. I'll on take that. it. I'll take you it. If I do, I do. But you know what? What happens if we make it? What happens if we go 14 and 3? Hey, we we I still got to go the money on the mindset of betting slip. <laughs> What's that? What's, what'd you say, Pete? I would have said, well, why didn't you put your money on it and let's see the betting set? <laughs> oh, you know I went to Vegas and put money on the Browns going to the Super Bowl before. I'll do it again. No mm. doubt. All right. I so just got to get out to Vegas again, and I can't afford to do that right now. <laughs> as, you as you well Ohio. Know, yeah. So as you well know, we brought Josh Dobbs back. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. And w- w- while we're talking about Dobbs, so Dobbs is supposed to come in and back up. Obviously, he's going to back up. You know who? Are we going to draft another quarterback? Do you think there's somebody out there who can fit the mold right now? It's because you know we're not going to get Stroud. We're not going to get old boy from Bama. What do y'all think? You think we could get a um, guy from Florida State? Um, I can't think of his name. Richardson. What do y'all think, man? About that? Are we going to draft a quarterback? First of all, let let me go first on this one because go you ahead. said Stroud. I'm sorry. I don't think that Stroud is actually NFL caliber yet what um, mm. yeah as a buckeye what? fan as a buckeye fan um i don't think he's buckeye i don't think he's nfl caliber yet i think he should stay in college for another season that's what i think that's my honest opinion i just i don't you know uh wow I just yeah i just don't see it yet so but i don't also think that we should draft a quarterback i think that we should draft a young wide receiver and um you know concentrate on that position in the draft pick okay you know, okay me, what Aaron, what's me think, personally bro? i say no because by the time we get to pick ain't nobody gonna be no good like far as quarterbacks i i would look for the hardest defensive back hitters playmakers um game changers you know what i mean somebody who 
can make a funky hit that can change the whole game. I'm looking for things like that because I got everybody where I really want. And I'm gonna get some extras that can put a pop on somebody's special teams or you know, can you know come in on rundowns and things like that. Oh shit. Okay. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry to have to say this, but Aaron has <laughs> taken the words out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we don't no, 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 no more backups. I'm sorry, Christy, but Oh, no more rookie wide receivers either. No, it just doesn't work out. Um, yes, we need support at the linebackers. Okay, some big ass mother who's going to give it some. Bam. That's that's what we need to draft. Oh, so so everybody pretty much saying in the draft just basically just go defense. Pretty much now that we got this person, go nasty, go nasty, go nasty. Go nasty. You either run, you, you either run a four or three, or you hit people real, real hard. And people are afraid of you i want somebody to say man i don't really want to catch around him he ain't that good but he hit hard than him you know i want somebody like that because that's all they're gonna get you can get the hardest hitter in the draft in third round fourth round okay okay all right all right all right no doubt all right so you know we did pick up mike adams the linebacker we did get mike for he's more of a special teams guy now so let's let's get to the taki taki got resigned like like uh aaron mentioned uh maurice hurst got picked up now tristan hill the biggest that I wanted out of this whole goddamn thing was like Aaron alluded to. We got Elijah Moore. I, I, he was kind of on my radar last year, and I'm glad they didn't go after Judy. How do y'all feel about Elijah Moore coming from the Jets? They say he liked the wine about getting the ball. So how do y'all feel about getting that. Elijah Wood right now? That's, no doubt. That's, that's an ahead, amazing man. pickup. That's an amazing yeah. pickup. We, we, we got the guy. We surrendered the second round pick. And got a third round pick, and and we've got yeah. Elijah Moore. So yeah. that's it, job done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. You know, right, coming right. out the draft, I seen Elijah Moore as a late first round, you know, and then he made it <laughs> the second round in the draft in his rookie mm -hmm. year. And he only really played 10 games. He got 500 yards and seven touchdowns. The next mm -hmm. year, he gets a new offensive coordinator that puts him totally out of the offense. So, of course, he's screaming. He wants the ball. But even the little time yeah, no he doubt. played, he got 300, 400 yards and he got like three, maybe four touchdowns. I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. But with with Watson, I, I see that being Watson's new fuller. Watson's new Will Fuller because they have a okay. lot of the same routes. And one thing I like about Elijah Moore, again, what Barry is doing in this free agency, he's bringing some nastiness. Elijah Moore is a physical, a really physical wide receiver. No doubt, no doubt. All right, Christy, what you think? Yeah, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> she's, not happy. she's not happy. It's, it's all to do with Johnson. What's the, what's the problem? <laughs> I know this doesn't have anything directly with getting him, but I really wanted to keep Dearness Johnson. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 I did too. But I'd rather I, I, have Kareem. I'd rather have Kareem. Uh, yeah, this gives us a better chance. Yeah. Yeah, are we going to be able to keep Kareem, though? He wants to stay. You talked to Kareem's dad. That. He wants to stay. They're I trying know, to. Miles and them are moving. Miles and um, Watson are moving their money right now. So. Yeah, did you hear Did you hear Miles is talking to OBJ? He want OBJ. I, I know why. Could you imagine him? Could you imagine him with Watson? He I he was wide open. I don't want him back. I want him back. I want him back because so, okay. I want the whole show. This, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've blown our Let's get to it. We've blown hold all our I traded yeah, my on, jerseys back in. <laughs> all right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So before we end the show, do y'all want OBJ back? Do we want do. OBJ back? So okay, That's who's the eye? Who's the eye? Well. Who's the eye? If you want OBJ, if you want OBJ back, put your hand up. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. <laughs> the boy got hands. The boy got hands. That's the boy got hands. Your mind since yeah. last week. So Aaron, nah, he hold on, hold he gave on. me the uncomfortables. I told you, but yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah, about so Aaron, why, do you, <laughs> why do you want OBJ back, bro? Why do you want OBJ back? <laughs> because he he got style. Um, and no, and he's a great route runner. I mean, let's let's keep it real. It's not too many p human beings on earth that run better routes than OBJ. If you would have seen, you seen him in the Super Bowl until he got hurt, he was eating them up. Now, of course, yeah, I wouldn't sign him for a lot of money because he's going to get hurt. You can believe that. He wants more. He's going to get hurt. Uh, he's not going to eat a lot of money. You know, if I sign him, I'm talking about for a dime and a nickel and, and something like that. You know, I know he took his house <laughs> off the market. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about, you know. Money. 
Oh, yeah. well, no, he won't get that. You know, but, you know, it's a good thing to think about. Yeah, if he was on the team, tell me this. What wide receiver mm. on the team do you think is better than him? Amari Cooper? That's good question. Okay, Amari Cooper might be better. You think Donovan Peoples-Jones is better? You think Elijah Moore is better? You think Elijah Moore is better? He got a better, I think, future because well, he's with Watson. But up, up to this point, he's going to be wide one? open. Wide open like he was with Baker. But we might throw him the ball. He can he can route run better than he can route run better than pretty much all of them. And if you really look, Amari Cooper's always open. So o Odell Beckham's gonna be open. I'm just saying, man, with, with Watson, if we could get Odell Beckham on this team, keep Kareem Hunt, you tell me you don't have amazing weapons. I mean, damn, who else are we gonna get other than Odell? Me? I mean, my brother probably gonna have so many yards and touchdowns as me. Whoever they gonna get, he ain't gonna get no playing time. Odell gets playing time. I'm just saying, he's a great player, great athlete, great personality. Everybody mm -hmm. in the locker room was sad he left, except for one person. So mm -hmm. yeah. there it is. Yeah, That's we true. all know who that is. What, oh, well, we, 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 we all miss him. My yeah. my favorite um, free agent pick. We miss him. Not mentioned. Um, Jordan Akins. The tight end. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a good pickup. I and mean, that probably spells the end for um, Harrison Bryant, I'd imagine. But um, no, nah, you know, because, this guy, nah, this guy because he's, for he's for blocking. He's for blocking. He yeah, yeah. He's got last year. He's fit. He's available. He plays. He does not get injured. 500 yeah. yards near enough of, um, of yardage yeah. for him last year. Yeah, the Harrison Bryant, now. So, go ahead, Chris. Biggest, it real quick. Mm. No, I was just saying, Harrison ain't going nowhere, though. I mean, like that kid. No. He he's, he's the number two. Yeah, he he's a beast. He does what he's told. He's a great blocker. He you know catches the ball when it's thrown to him. He holds on to it when it's handed off to him. Oh you know, no, he dropped a couple. He dropped some shit last yeah, year. Stop it! Stop picking on him. He did the 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 You know, know they got Atkins. Well. It's yeah. They got Atkins Go in the center for one specific reason. So so that Watson's comfortable with that read option that he always yeah. does. Watkins is a great blocker. He learns how to he knows how to do the seal. Watson That's knows true. how he does it. And he's and he, he's a short-handed receiver. He's not gonna get many um yards after the catch, yak yards. I think mm -hmm. he actually be the third tight end. But when it comes to running situation, options situations, he'll be on the play side, strong side. So it was a great pickup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he does so the dirty against... yards. That's what yeah. we call it. He does we the dirty stuff. Yeah, we up against it. So, last but not least, if 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 we got these players, do we have faith in what Kevin Stefanski is going to do with this offense? Now that he has these weapons, do you have faith in what Kevin Stefanski is going to do? That's what I want to ask you. No, wow. I tell you, fourteen and three, dude. <laughs> what don't you understand about that? <clears throat> Okay. Well, yeah, it's right. it's, it's Kev's neck that's in the block. If it doesn't go right, he's got no one else to blame <laughs> now. All yeah. the weapons are there, brother. <laughs> no doubt. Aaron? All, all I'm saying is play calling better be way different. He better have that new <laughs> playbook he was talking about. Because if you come back with the same playbook, he's out of here by half mm -hmm. the season so come with that new playbook you figure it out you know he got these three tight end sets nobody else does it in the nfl and it's a copycat lead they didn't copy for a reason you're gonna have to make up a mind you're gonna score some points or get his ass up out of cleveland mm -hmm. yeah, i think fancy and watson are gonna get really close during this offseason they better I think they oh, shit. I think they all right y'all we we up against it and i just want to say before we go wow it's so much stuff uh t I, like i said i want to thank the whole cast, man. I love y'all so much, man. We didn't have JB tonight. It is what it is. And everything that TMDE, SMG, BFO, Hidden Celebrities, everything that we got cracking, you know, if y'all watching the show right now, in a couple months, we're going to have a Browns alumni bowling contest. We got some great Brown, Browns legends who are going to be there. Pumpy Head going to be there. Ray going to be there. We going to be there. And it's going to be a great event if you're watching the show. Make sure y'all go to the link, tune in, sign up, subscribe. We're going to have a great time. Everybody's going to be able to interact with the players. We're going to bowl. We're going to give away some prizes. It's going to be a great time. Oh, man. you're going to hear some great stories. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, awesome G was at the house. And just, just saying, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Aaron go MC. It is what it is. Roast. Well, like we like we're saying the BFO. <laughs> yeah, um, hey, hey, if, if, if you throw, stay tuned. <laughs> if you throw a gutter ball, we're gonna be on your ass. <laughs> I already got. Well, hey, I already got the chant. Here, gotta, gotta, gotta. Here, gotta, gotta, gotta. Here, gotta, gotta, gotta. Yeah, that's why. Swing in the mix. Swing in the mix. Please. All right. All right. So, shine. No doubt. And like I say every week, <laughs> go Browns, bitches. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>